Hello everybody. So it's been a, a couple of days since we did our transformation and after about 24 hours I changed the temperature to 30 degrees Celsius and I'll just turn that off now. Um, and I did that because at cool temperatures cells will often uh, create the pigments uh, more for you. Okay so the way the DNA program is uh, made is that when the cells are really trying to grow fast the program doesn't work so well and once they start to slow down and and go into what's called stationary phase that's when this uh, the program really kicks up and so if by lowering the temperature down to 30 they kind of slow down and and start really uh, activating the program um, but after the first 24 hours we started to to see some activity happening and let's have a look at that now Okay, so uh, as we can see, the the positive control worked really well, and so again, this tells us that uh, because we don't see other weird colonies like white bacteria, for example, it's all purple. You can see it's actually a nice transition from a darker to a lighter purple. Um, that these plates are selective enough to ensure that only the engineered bacteria grow. Let's look at the negative. So the negative control plate um, doesn't uh, show any bacteria. We don't observe any bacteria and this is expected. So when we streaked on the uh, blank cells, they don't have the plasmid for antibiotic resistance um, and uh, that's why we don't see them grow. If we had seen them grow, that would suggest that the plates didn't have enough antibiotics in them uh, and uh, could have helped us to troubleshoot. Now here's the, the main the main show. So this is the experimental sample and the colonies you can see are quite beautiful and we had a lot of nice raspberry red colonies and uh, I don't really see any, do you see any white colonies? No, it looks like they're all they're all uh, nice and pink and actually I'm going to go grab the I'm going to go grab a black light. It's a little bit bright in here, so we won't really be able to see it so well, but uh, I'll right so got a black light, and again, it's really bright in here. So we'll see if we can see any fluorescence, but really, uh, maybe what I'll have to do is do this uh, later. There you go. Oh, yeah, you can definitely see. Look at that fluorescing bacteria. Definitely see, see them. Great. So at nighttime, these are going to pop under a black light, which is great. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So there we go, that's exciting. The following video, so we're not gonna inactivate this yet because we're gonna do uh, something further. Um, we're gonna do what's called a keep it kit. Um, but before we do that, um, I decided that we'll just go ahead and and uh, start up a bio explorer and we're actually going to brew some of our red pigments on a much larger scale. Mm -hmm. 